guys, so today I'm going to share with you a beta feature that's just uh, in Squarespace right now. Um, it's for Circle members only right now, but it should be coming out, I'd say, you know, within the next month or two. That's long. That's how long it took for the image blocks anyways uh, to come out. So what I'm going to show you is uh, for MailChimp, right now if you wanted a pop-up, you would actually have to go into Settings, Advanced, Code Injection, and then go ahead and put in the code for MailChimp, right, if you want a pop-up. Right, so there's actually a new thing that they've come up with. So if you go into um, settings, and then I believe it's marketing, promotional pop-up. So this is what the pop-up will look like. Um, you can kind of, I, I have it turned on right here. And so underneath timing and frequency, you can have it show after five seconds, or if somebody shows the, uh, scrolls down a certain percentage of, this, of the page. And then also have it show up once every 30 days. So if somebody clicks the X up here, it won't show up for another 30 days. It just stores a cookie on their computer. So, I mean, if they do delete the cookie, it'll show up again. Okay. And then we also have um, don't show again after newsletter sign up. So, when somebody signs up, it won't show up again. And they kind of reset all the data. Okay. Now, let's go. So, that's if you create a new pop up. So, like, let's say you, it's not an email list, but you're having like a sale, right? And you want to pop up and you have a new sale, you can actually change it. So, the action from MailChimp, so sign up for a newsletter you can change it to click a button instead. So like shop now. So let's say um, you were having like a summer sale and you want someone to click to your shop. You can kind of do that instead and then reset it. So that's what that reset button is for. So the reset over here. Now, the other thing is you can change the colors, obviously. That's just like the style editor um, for pages. So you can change colors, text, font, that kind of stuff. Um, action. I showed you that already. So you can connect your MailChimp here, and once somebody clicks on subscribe, they'll t get taken to another pop up that says thank you. And also, the last thing I wanted to show you is change layout. So you can actually change how it looks. So that one was a default. You can have an image on one side, an image on top. Um, you can have an image as a background with, you know, some the words on top. Then you can have, yeah, this is a spring sale layout you can use. Um, and also, there's actually one that pops up at the bottom here as well. Uh, I don't really like that one though, because it's hard to tell that it's a pop-up. Um, I don't like this one either. I would say don't use this one, because I think uh, Google penalizes for full-screen pop-ups. Uh, so don't use that one or this one. Just use one of, you know, one of the first four or five should be good. This one comes in the corner, I believe. Yeah, okay, yeah, one of the first four or five would be good. So let's say I stick with this one, right? I'll just see how we change the image here. It's my first time playing around with it too. I just I just read about it right now and I thought it'd be really cool. So I believe yeah, there you go. So once you pick one that an image is available, that you'll get a new um like option for image. So let me go ahead and throw in an image that I just downloaded really quickly. Um, so that's a little bug. I think it uploads two of them, and it should have oh, which is odd. So that's definitely a bug that they have to fix. Again, this is the first day, so it's for sure going to be buggy. And you can, of course, choose where the focus is. So you can move it more here, or you can move it to the other side if you don't want the book in there. So that's the control, like what's actually displayed. And so again, if you go to content, you can change what it says. Okay, I just want to show you guys this real, real cool. Uh, this is a real cool feature, I think, anyway. So um, definitely uh, test it out when it comes out. I think it's a much better tool than using the built-in uh, built pop-up that Mailchimp allows. Just because it's as it's well, it's easier to customize for one. So definitely check it out.